Great to be, uh, great to be back. Um, I appreciate the fact that um, Coach Osborne's uh, legacy award has been extended to me, and, and uh, obviously anything with his name attached to it is, uh, is, is special in, uh, in my mind. He's been such a huge part of uh, what I've been all about in the, uh, in the coaching business, so it'll be a special evening um, tomorrow. I'll um, be glad to answer any questions you may have. Frank, it's been a long time since yeah. you're back in Nebraska. It was for me to be back here where you spent so many years. Yeah. Well, it's great to be here. I've come in and out on occasion. Uh, our daughter and her family live in Lincoln, and uh, so I've, I've been in and out. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's always been a big part of my life, obviously. I uh, spent more time in the state of Nebraska than I have anywhere else in my life. And uh, obviously, that's a long life at this point. So, uh, so you can tell I spent a lot of years here. But uh, uh, it, and, and they were all great years. You know, certainly enjoyed it. I had a chance to uh, coach at Holy Name High School in Omaha right out of college. My first two years. Two years later, I was at Southeast for 11 years. I loved coaching high school uh, football and and being involved with with high school kids. Uh, but got a chance to then move on to. Uh, Nebraska with uh, Coach Osborne, and, and that seemed to be a pretty simple decision to, to move forward with in, in that regard. And, and so, you know, when I look back on the history, a lot of great people, a lot of friends uh, that, that I still have. Frank, why now? Speak to the timing of, of coming back to Nebraska uh, this year. Well, um, for the award, um, uh, obviously. You know, I have not intentionally stayed away from Nebraska. You know, that, that has never been, been on, on my mind. And... Um, uh, so, uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, coming back, uh, there's a, a large group of uh, guys that I played with that uh, I'll get a chance to be around. Um, you know, there's coaches, uh, Coach Osborne, who I coached under for, I don't know what it was, 19 years, something, something like that. Get a chance to be be around him. Um, you know, all those, all those things. A lot of people that have were supportive of me still are. And, um, and I still have some contact with here. So just great to be back to, to see people. Do you regard it, Frank, as something that's important for the Nebraska football program, that you being back in honor? Um, you know, I've never looked at it like that, Sip. I mean, um, you know, I, uh, things have worked out really well for me. You know, I, I love what I'm doing. Um, I couldn't be any happier being around the, the coaches and the players that, uh, that I am around. Um, you know, I, I think I've been fortunate in this business. Two, uh, um, only two moves in uh, 52 years in terms of uh, coaching jobs. And so that's, uh, that's, that, that's pretty special. That's, that's unique in the business. And um, so a lot of the good things have uh, happened to me. And as far as ne Nebraska is concerned and, and you know, it being special for them, I don't, I don't see it that way. You know, this is special for me. Getting the Tom Osborne Award is special for me. And um, that's it. <laughs> why do you think it's worked out so well for you in Athens? Why has that been a good fit? A uh, couple things. Um, number one, I, I, I love rebuilding programs. Holy Name was a rebuilding job. Uh, and in two years, we m made that into a winning program. Southeast was definitely a rebuilding job. Um, you know, you look at um, um, you look at Ohio. That was definitely a building job. So, so that you know that that all that all fit for me. That's uh, you know I, I like that. And uh, you're kind of getting my speech for tomorrow going here now. So <laughs> we better cut this short. <laughs> Frank, a lot of people at your age would just decide to step away and retire, but you are going back to coach at Ohio. Why do you still have this passion for football? Um, you know, I still have energy. Um, I, I still love the, love the game. Um, I think I still relate very well to the players. As long as that's there, um, then I, I feel like I have a chance to, to get things done for, uh, for young people and uh, to help them and to help programs. And so, um, you know, that, it's as simple as, uh, simple as that. There's no huge thing out there that that just keeps me rolling you know and uh, just waking up in the morning and and getting getting to work and being around uh, good people and so you hope that that just continues that way
I'll knock on wood. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know that I was ever in shock. Um, you know, it's um, uh, coaching, uh, especially the sport of football, is a, is a tough business. I, under, I understood that going in. You don't have it happened the way it happened for Coach Osborne uh, all the time in, 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 the, in the game. You know, there's, uh, there's a lot of people that, that no matter what you get done, uh, want it to be a little bit better, and, and I understand that. You know, that's, that's the nature of uh, the, the, the business. So I, I don't think that I was ever truly, uh, truly shocked. Um, it, um, it's just, um, just what it was. Um, I was able to move on very quickly and, uh, and just continue to do what I love. Well, obviously, I've known his, his dad for a long time. Um, and through that, you know, got to know, know Scott some and played for us at, at Nebraska. Um, so got a good understanding what he was all, all about at, uh, at, at that point. And uh, he's a tremendous competitor, uh, tremendous athlete. Uh, I think he'll be a great coach uh, for Nebraska. I think he understands the, the game really well. He understands the recruiting process. He, he, um, I think he's a bright, uh, he's a bright coach, and so I think it'll all, all fit. Coach, I know you've recruited a lot of Nebraska athletes <clears throat> to Ohio. Is there a certain characteristic that you see in some of these Nebraska kids, and why do you keep recruiting the state? Well, um, you know, we do have contacts uh, here in the state. Jimmy Burrow um, uh, played in Nebraska, was uh, coached here uh, for a period of time. Uh, Tim Albin coached here for a period of time. He's our offensive coordinator. So that we have a lot of contacts throughout the state. They have a lot of people they know. I have a lot of people I know back here. And, um, and so it's, you know, it's very easy to, to go back to, to where you know people. And that's the n name of the game in, in re recruiting is contacts. And, uh, and, and we really go around the country. You know, we play in the MAC conference. You play in the middle of the after, or you, you play in the middle of the week um, at night games. So if anybody wants to watch football on whatever night we're playing, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they got to kind of tune us in, you know. So players around the country know that, that uh, Ohio plays football, and I think they know that we play pretty good football now. Four or five new coaches at Nebraska. Do you think the expectations of this fan base has hurt the program over this time? Um, you know, I, I believe that every major college program has those kind of expectations. Their fans are that way. They want to win. Um, and um, they're, all, they're all about wanting to get that done. And uh, so there's tremendously high expectations. Um, sometimes you're in tough situations to live up to those. Uh, expectations, but um, um, it's it's kind of what it is in the in the business. You know, it's not the fault of the fans. Uh, it's not necessarily the fault of the coaches.